So what I have here is a light source where I've got a blue, a green, and also a red light. Now what I'm gonna do is send this through an uh, aperture here, so there's a hole here, and I'm gonna have a look at what is projected onto the screen. So first of all, I'm just gonna cover over the red light, and I'm gonna send the green and the blue through the hole. And actually what we see is that although the green light is at the top over here, that ends up at the bottom over there, and that just shows uh, that light travels in straight lines, so it's going from the top through here down to the bottom. And there's a region in the middle where the green and blue lights mix together and they make this light blue colour, which we call cyan. Now, if I cover the green light at the top, we now see that we've got this pinky colour in the middle, which is called magenta. So blue and red mix together to make magenta. And if I cover over the blue light, we find that actually green and red make yellow. So this is different to art and mixing paint. When it comes to light, the primary colours are red, green and blue, and the secondary colours are magenta, yellow and cyan. And if we mix all of these three primary colours together, because we're adding the colours together, what we have in the middle gets brighter, and this is our white spot in the middle. So in actual fact, red, green and blue light together add up to make white light. And I think this is really pretty. The other thing we can have a look at here is some colour filters. So this first filter is a green filter. And if I put it in front of the green light, it still lets the green light through because we can still see the green circle over here. But if I take that same filter and I put it in front of the red, it actually blocks out the red light. So the green filter won't let red light through it. I've got another filter, this one's red. And if I put that red filter in front of the red LED now, we can see that the red light still gets through. But if I take that red filter and put it in front of the green, it absorbs all of the green light. So colour filters are useful, and I suppose, depending on the colour filter, that tells you which colours of light it lets through and which colours are absorbed. So I've got four objects here, but what colour are they? Well, with a red filter, we appear to have a dark object, two lighter coloured objects and a dark object. If I then have a blue filter as well, if I hold this in front of the red filter, it actually filters out all of the light and we can't see anything. But if I sort the filters over and we look at this through a blue light, we've got two light coloured objects and two dark objects. So what colour are they? Well, we actually have blue, white, red and black. Now, a blue filter works by allowing the transmission of blue light, but it absorbs all the other colours of light. Now what that means is there's white light landing on this paper at the moment and the paper's um, reflecting all the colours of light. Now, if I have a blue filter over a white object, the filter filters out all the colours of light and it only lets the blue light from the object get through the filter up to the camera. The blue object is only reflecting blue light and that blue light comes through as well, so therefore it appears to be not that dissimilar to the background. Um, but if I have a red object, this is reflecting red light and the red light doesn't get through the blue filter and therefore it all appears to be black. In actual fact, through the filter, this object and this object both appear equally as dark, even though one is red and one is black. So, when it comes to the way that uh, filters work, what they do is they absorb certain colours or certain frequencies of light, and they only allow the transmission of certain frequencies. So let's imagine that we had, uh, this is just representing a ray of white light with all the different colours of, of light in it. If I had a blue filter, then the blue filter would allow the transmission of blue light. I'm just going to draw that ray in like that. But this blue filter would absorb the green, it would absorb the red as well. Equally, if we had a red filter, the red filter absorbs the blue, absorbs the green, but it allows transmission of red light. And if I just draw that ray in like so, this is what we see with a red filter. And if we had two filters, so maybe we had the red and the blue like we saw, what happens then is if this is now a blue filter, that blue filter is going to absorb all of the red and therefore no light gets through. And that's what we saw when we had a red filter and the blue filter together. What we noticed was that no light gets through at all, it absorbs everything, and that's basically the way that filters work.